Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and this is Minecraft Survival Island, but of course this isn't a Survival Island video, this is just a map. Anyway, this is another redstone creation, my newest one, and probably one of the most useful ones, considering that without this, I would have probably never used this part of the game. Anyway, just from the item frames and dispensers, you can probably guess what this is, and it also uses hoppers from 1.5. So, let's get to the video. So, what this is, is an automatic potion brewing machine. So, you've got this giant wall of buttons and levers, and then you've got yourself some, hold on, some milk to get rid of the effects. Oh, actually, that should be, there we go. Yeah, milk disables all potion effects. So, anyway, what this is, is press a button for any potion in the game. So, it has some water bottles in here. And I don't know, how about we use a potion to kill stuff? So let's get a splash potion that does upgraded stuff. We need a spider eye, and how about we do instant damage too? Which is the opposite of the glistering melons effect. That's the point of the that thing. Anyway, now we've got our mechanism going up here. And, momentarily, we've got ourselves another wart in there already, and then we got the lineup of ingredients, and it doesn't matter what order they go in after this one. Like, once this is already in, it doesn't matter what order these go in, as long as they're all in. So, then, of course, you gotta wait, because it's a brewing stand. But, I'm planning on, in the future, having it hook up to multiple uh, one of these, but, of course, that requires an entire extra line of hoppers and complicated stuff like that but you know what this is a redstone breakthrough in my opinion because ugh, the other ones i've seen the fully automatic potion brewing machines <laughs> they weren't quite that big but um they were pretty d oh yeah there's my first model of it over there now the thing that stinks is i built this thing right and made a special spot for in survival island as you can see here and then i discovered how to make that one and it's like Da, why didn't I just... So now I'm going to have to blow that up with TNT or something like that. But, yeah, that's this is the machine. Now, let's go take our potions out. They're probably done by now. Oh, no, they're not. Okay, we got to wait for the gunpowder. So while we're waiting, I can demonstrate how this works. So basically, what happens is... <clears throat> you press your buttons. Well, first, let's go to the levers. The levers. Now, these are the potion modifiers. We've got our glowstone our redstone dust, our gunpowder, and the fermented spider eye. Now what these obviously do is the glowstone upgrades the effect, the redstone lengthens the effect, the gunpowder enables it to be a splash potion, which lets you throw it, and then you've got the fermented spider eye, which eh, just messes up the effect, makes it something completely opposite. Like you can make a speed potion and put that in, it'll turn it into a uh, slowness potion, slowness potion. <laughs> can't even speak today. Uh, anyway, what happens is when you press a button, it sends a signal over here up to these, and it will activate all of these repeaters, including these, which will shoot the nether warts. But it will also put up the piston for whatever type it is. So then the redstone will power the block, which will power the dispenser and shoot out the according ingredient. And then it will also shoot out the potion modifier. Now this was annoying to do because originally these dispensers were one block forward so they would always shoot and get there before the ingredient which screws up the po the potion brewing process so what I did is I put it back a block and then put this wall here now you may think what if it gets stuck in the stairs I've done extensive testing like I had 20 of them set up in this exact way on a really fast clock there's literally a 0% chance that it'll land on the stairs for any of these. I've tested it so much, you have no freaking idea. But, with that in mind, um, <laughs> so what happens is this shoots out, well, another wart shoots out first, goes into this line of hoppers, which basically just leads down to the back of the hopper. And then, you've got the potion effect, that will go in, and then you got the modifiers, which then go in last. And, the hopper thing is really really simple all you got to do is put one here right click on that one right click right click 
Well, placing hoppers on top of another. Like, it's hard to explain. Here, let me actually demonstrate. Da. So you put one down. And then you hold down shift and click on it again. As you can see, it connects. And you just keep doing that until you want it to go wherever you want it to go. Just down. And I don't think the items can go up. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think they can go up. Anyway, so I've got that little line there. And then, for the water bottles, I've got these. All in the chest, which is a separate line of hoppers, which leads to the top. Because if you try putting... Oh, wait, no. I got that mixed up. The potions effect go on the top and the water goes in the back. My mistake. If you try putting water bottles in from the top, it doesn't do anything. And it just clogs everything and it's not fun. So anyway, we take out our potions. And as you can see, it's instantly replaced with a water bottle, which is amazing. So now we've got some instant harming two potions to play with. Now, I did see some stray mobs, including this creeper over... Oh, where'd the creeper go? I swear, there was a creeper there. Okay, let's just have some fun. Spawn in some creepers. And of course, since we're in creative mode, we can just spam it. So we can go... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. That just... I mean, this is basically the lazy man's device. I mean, seriously. But if you think about it, with all the modifiers, who would really sit there for 20 minutes making a potion? Of course, it doesn't take that long. It takes like two minutes. But... Why stand there and wait when you could be doing something else while your machine's doing it for you? And another feature for the second version is probably automatic. I like to get it to dispense automatically and just keep making potions until it's out of water bottles. But that is the future. For now, we've got the um, very compact, very simple, and useful one. So if you want a tutorial, leave a like down below. And I will release a tutorial after 50 likes. 5 0 oh, 50. <laughs> so once you get that, then I will give you your video. So, um, as I said before, leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video and if you want a tutorial. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.